Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. The Big Family Homestead. And let me tell you what, folks. I really wish that I was not making this video today. Yeah, no. This seems like science fiction, like we're right on the edge of that dystopian future that everyone fears. Yeah, I keep, I keep thinking of the Terminator with this. <laughs> let me tell you what. Okay, first, first things first. Yes, we're literally talking about the approval of killer robots. Mm -hmm. And I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. I'm going to read from an article. There's plenty of them out there. There'll be links down below. If I'm lying, I'm dying. They did this. Mm -hmm. But before we do, I also want to make sure that you understand we're not here to shock you. We're not here to scare you. We're here to inform you so that we mm -hmm. can push back as best we can Yep. with our mouths, with going and voting, with pushing back on city councils, mm -hmm. All of that stuff, because if you don't know, you can't push back. Right, right. And I know a lot of our people don't know because this is just not their world. Right. I didn't know about it until you said, hey, uh, this know? is a thing. <laughs> so let me read from this article. I won't read a lot, but um, it's already done. Mm -hmm. This is a past tense article. Mm -hmm. This was November 23rd, yep. 2022. And now we're in December. This was already passed. And this is a local news mm -hmm. web um website bay so, area yeah in san francisco but there's also ones in the washington post mm -hmm. and i'll put some more links robots would have license to kill in san francisco police drafts uh policy san francisco law enforcement equipment used uh used policy proposed by the san francisco police department that would allow heavy duty robots for lethal lethal force Robots will only be used in deadly force option when risk of loss of life to members of the public or officers is an imminent and outweighs any other force option available to the SFPD. The policy also states that only assigned operators who have completed the required training course, two hours. Now that part's, I'm just joking on the two hours. <laughs> I, I just seems like that's what would be. Uh, but the quick, Truthfully, the completed required training shall be permitted to operate those robots. The robots in question are unmanned, unmanned, and remotely pil piloted. They include iRobot First Look, a throwable, expandable robot that can be used to investigate dangerous hazard materials and allows operations where other robots can't fit or maneuver. And then it goes on to explain all the different ways that they're they're planning on killing people. Well, and they've already acquired these these they acquired these robots in January of 2022. Yep, now, seventeen of them. Yep. So San Francisco surf, uh, supervisors have passed a measure to allow the use of deadly robots on Tuesday. That's an updated thing. Yeah, that and that was dated November 29th. Washington Post. Here's another article. Can police use robots to kill? San Francisco says, yes. Now, aside from all of the Terminator images that are coming to mind, mm -hmm. right? let's just let's backtrack a little bit. Let's talk about the good side before we talk about the massive bad side. Well, the good side, it's good side is it's going to save human lives. Potentially. Potentially save human lives, yes. Okay, we got to go there. Right. Because, you know. Right. Mistakes never happen. Well, and and these robots are human manned. Yes, they are manned by a they human. They manned by a human who can make mistakes. And what's next if they're allowing you know human manned robots? What's next after that? Autonomous. Sure, that's yeah. That's where I was thinking. Just like our military uses, mm -hmm. they set a set of parameters. Say, here's your mission. Mm -hmm. Go do it. Right. Hmm. Nothing could ever go wrong. Could there. not. That, nothing Pasha. could go wrong. No. Don't worry. No uh, lost laptops will be involved. Oh. Oops. It is. Set the coffee down. Just excited. Put the coffee down. Here's the back point. Back away we're... from the coffee. Mistakes happen. Yes. Now let me think about this. So I don't. Having use in robotics, I, I, I have had a world in robotics. I owned a robotics company with a guy a long time ago. Ours were animatronic. Mm -hmm. So, but the principles are all the same, whether you're hydraulic motors or, or um, the servos and 
it's all all the same ideas. It's just on a bigger scale, right? right? You only have a limited amount of sensors that you've placed on this robot that never are going to be as good as a human in a lot of ways, except for things like temperature Mm -hmm. because they can see through walls. Mm -hmm. Um, And, but, but the thing is this, is that a human can go quickly. (laughs) Now you would argue there's extra cameras and things. Okay. Do you think it's going to be as effective as a human in making a decision? A split second decision. Even though there's a human on the other side of the joysticks. Yeah. There's still that moment of delay. Um, or not knowing. I mean, think about the way our military does these drone strikes. They've got eyes from the sky. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And there've been so many times when innocent people have just gone Mm bye-bye families. Yeah. Children. Yes. Mistakes could never get made by the police department. They never accidentally, you know, but here's the thing, even even if it were limited, I might actually go there if it was like, say, somebody had holed themselves up in a room and they were going to hurt a bunch of people if demands aren't met, right? Mm-hmm. I might say, okay, it's worth it at that point, but only for the potential regaining of lives that would have probably been lost. Right. Now, knowing that, like, what situation is that's going to be so tough of a call? Mistakes will be made. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, but that's not even my main concern. My main concern is where does it go from here? What happens when your card scanner was the wrong person and you accidentally got input or changed your data, who you are? your ID, your social credit score, your carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden you've got a robot standing there saying, don't move. You're under arrest. And you're like, it's not me. Look, the picture's not me. This is not me. Right. But your card says that it's you. And now all of a sudden a robot's going to be making that decision as to whether or not you Mm -hmm. should be dealt with violently. Right. You know, those weird sci-fi movies that portray robots as the, as the, not just Terminator, but there's so many of them. Like the savior kind of thing? Yes. iRobot. iRobot. Um, what was that one? Oh, shoot. Can't even think of it. Bicentennial Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. You you guys have to see that this is... It's stuff's coming true. Stuff's coming true. Yeah. Um, I, uh. I want to know what you think down below. Because I'm guessing that a lot of our crowd did not know about this. I'm sure. Unless they live in that area. And then if they live in that area, they might not be watching our channel. <laughs> My guess is we've been censored by those people who live in that I area. I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah. Just look at the numbers. They used to be huge and we haven't changed the content. No. Nope. Except we're a little more vocal about what we think is right and wrong now. Yes. Yeah. So robots. Killer robots. Woohoo. My favorite. What do you think, guys? You want them strolling down Main Street in uh, Podunk, Central Missouri? No. No. I don't want them in Podunk, Central Wisconsin. I don't want them anywhere. No. I don't want them in the cities. Maybe we don't live anywhere near. Maybe on a battlefield. Yeah. Then, then I could see a justification for that, but Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's why we have humans. Mm -hmm. And they have chosen to be in those positions yeah and those jobs and i'm we're very grateful that they have chosen to be in those positions of of employment um we're grateful to police yeah yeah Yeah. anyway so robotic killer cops what do you think Mm -hmm. i'm going with a no 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 well that's it what do you think comments down below i'm brad i'm krista you guys have an amazing and blessed day